Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're talking about Batman, issue number 48. That's right, guys. One issue away from seeing Batman make his return because that's been the speculation for a while now. So this book is written by Scott Snyder, and the artwork is done by Greg Capullo. And uh, the artwork is always well done within this series. Uh, Greg Capullo's artwork is gorgeous. I love the details, the character's eyes. Uh, you can see the, the facial expression here with Jim Gordon as he's being captured by uh, Mr. Bloom in the issue. And uh, as we can see here, we get to see... Uh, the Joker in here where we're not sure if he's really the Joker or if he's screwing around with Batman and uh, and things like that so uh, I really loved it here's um, Mr. Bloom uh, kind of having the Godzilla effect going on in here causing havoc throughout the city so really cool looking book um, I enjoyed it immensely uh, what did I think about the actual story though all right so First things first, we're going to recap it, and we see Bruce and we know who is the Joker on the bench. And what this book does a really good job with is you're trying to figure out if the Joker is really sane or if he has amnesia just like Bruce Wayne does. And now at this point, Bruce is kind of gathering his thoughts, realizing who he was in the past. But... Just like in the Joker's personality, um, he's he's screwing with them. You know, he's talking about a lake, and uh, you know, and he's sitting there going, "For the person who used to be, you can make things the right way." And Bruce is like, "Well, how do you know who I am?" You know, and he sits there and he points out a gun and he sits there and he explains this whole story to Bruce how he was going to possibly kill himself and how this bench. Um, made him a sane person and it was it was it just the, Greg Capullo I mean Scott Snyder did a great job at realize trying to get the reader to figure out if this if this is a sane Joker or if this, this is the Joker that we've always known and I thought that was really brilliantly done and you can see the tension uh between the two characters and even if Joker does have amnesia he still has that type of personality that is not quite right so i uh, really love that beginning part of the issue uh throughout the book though you get to see mr bloom he captures uh jim gordon he goes on to this rant and rave saying i used to be this person that worked for the government and 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 uh no one treated me right and he goes on this speech and he explains who the other uh mr blooms are how they used to be uh, convicts there used to be a person that Commissioner Gordon has put to jail throughout the years and so he goes on and on and I thought this part of the book was a little bit drawn out because for most of the time that's all you saw you saw Mr. Bloom just carrying uh, Commissioner Gordon making this speech ranting and raving and uh, he says he plants seeds across the city and says, if you want a greater power, just put the seed inside of you. And a couple of people kind of bite on the deal and you get to see that they that they're, you know, transform in front of Bruce's eyes and and it's it's killing him on the inside. And uh and also you wind up seeing uh, Jerry Powers as she winds up releasing the uh, bunch of bat mechs into the city to do battle against the blooms as well. And uh, and you get to see them making their way uh, into Gotham. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Alfred, at the end of the issue, he's just sitting there going, he's watching the broadcast, and he hears this big bang. It's like, bang, bang, bang. He's like, no, no, and he starts freaking out, and the next thing you wind up seeing is you see Bruce Wayne, and he sits there, and he goes, take me to my cave. And so now you're going to see the return of Batman. And uh, will he have all his reflexes or will he remember everything that he was when he was Batman? Or is he still kind of a little bit out of it? So I'm not too sure. But um, that was a cool issue. I mean, 
Was it a little bit drawn out with the Mr. Bloom moments? Yes. The moments that I appreciated out of this book was the whole Bruce Wayne and Joker moments. Those moments were really well done uh, in the book. And then I like the ending, obviously, where you know that you're going to see Batman make his return in the next issue. How this all ends, I don't know. Uh, will Commissioner Gordon live? Yeah, probably. That's probably the obvious thing. But it'll be great to see Batman make his return in these pages again. However, as far as I know, uh, Scott Snyder and... Um, Greg Capullo will no longer be on this book, so who will fill in for them? That is the question. So, guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought of this book. Uh, I gave it probably a four out of five stars. It was a good book. However, it wasn't great in moments. So, uh, I really overall, though, enjoyed the book, and I definitely recommend you to read this issue. So, again, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Comic Book Corner 2.0, and until that next comic book review, you guys can check out Comic Book Corner Old School, and you can also check out my group channel, Comic Frontline, and uh, I'll see you on that next review. So fans, thanks for watching, and take care. See you soon. Bye.